a fully owned government of india undertaking working under this ministry has been serving for the past 40 years persons with disabilities under the adip and adip ssa schemes by manufacturing and supplying isi marked aids and appliances currently it is serving an on an average 1 and 1/2 lakh persons with disabilities per year with a view to promote self employment of persons with disabilities and help in their economic rehabilitation the national handicapped finance and development corporation under my ministry provides loans at concessional rate of interest through its partners in the states the nhfdc benefited over 10625 persons with disabilities during the year 2011-12 i would like to mention here that the corporation has developed a special scheme wherein a person with disability can take concessional loan for purchase of assistive devices to enhance his performance on the job to which in turn may lead to their improved employability assistive devices like screen reader retrofitted mobility aids artificial limbs etc are included in the assistive devices scheme recently the corporation has also developed two online applications one online application is for scholarships for students with disabilities while the other online application is for education loan the national trust for the welfare of persons with autism cerebral palsy mental mental retardation and multiple disabilities a statutory body under our ministry was set up to address the main concerns of parents of children with these disabilities what will happen to my child when i am no more the national trust besides working for this mandate has been organizing since 2009 an annual pan india awareness campaign called badhte kadam under this more than 500 melas and camps were held across the country spreading awareness and educating people about uncrpd right to education right to information and other issues concerning disabilities honorable president sir recently the national trust has been awarded the times of india social impact award for providing health insurance coverage to its target group the navshikhar channel the first ever channel dedicated for disability a joint venture of the rehabilitation council of india indian space research organization and media lab asia telecasts programs documentaries and films on different topics in the field of disability rehabilitation to over 500 centers located all over the country the council is using modern communication technology to share information on rehabilitation by conducting teleconferences on various topics from the RCI studio utilizing services of experts and professionals in order to improve the coverage in northeast region rci has decided to set up 40 new centers there for which installation work has started we recognize that persons with disabilities are a valuable human resource and must be given opportunities to contribute equally with others in nation building the government of india is committed to continue its endeavor to empower persons with disabilities with the cooperation of every citizen in the country with the commencement of the 12th plan we have also commenced the process of planning a major extension of programs and schemes in the disability sector for bringing persons with disabilities on center stage in the developmental process to achieve this end The newly created department also presented a tableau symbolizing accessibility, inclusion, empowerment of persons with disabilities on the 26th of January 2013 at the Republic Day Parade. At present, 
There are schemes of Rajiv Gandhi Fellowship for the scheduled castes and scheduled tribe students for pursuing higher studies like MPhil and PhD. This year, for the first time, we have launched a new scheme named Rajiv Gandhi National Fellowship Scheme for students with disabilities to allow them to pursue MPhil and PhD courses. We also hope to start soon post matrix scholarship scheme, national overseas scholarship scheme, and top class education scheme for students with disabilities on the lines similar on the lines of similar schemes available for the scheduled caste students. My heartiest congratulations to all those who are receiving the national awards today. I'm sure that the award will spur you on to make even greater efforts and reach greater heights of success and accomplishment in future. You are a source of inspiration to others. On this occasion, let us reaffirm our commitment to build an inclusive society and rededicate ourselves to the cause of empowerment of persons with disabilities. I once again express our gratitude to Honorable Rashtrapati Ji for his gracious presence at, at this function, as this will surely and greatly enthuse and motivate all those present here. Thank you. Jai Hind. Kumari Shelja, Minister, Social Justice and Empowerment. Sri D. Napoleon, Minister of State for Social Justice and Empowerment. Sri Anil Goswami, Secretary, Department of Social Justice and Empowerment. Ms. Stuti Kakekar, Secretary, Department of Disability Affairs. Recipients of National Awards, Distinguished Participants, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen. It's indeed a privilege for me to be present on this happy occasion when the presentation ceremony of the National Awards for the Empowerment of persons with disabilities. Today, we honor differently abled individuals who, by the strength of their indomitable will and their remarkable courage, have many achievements. Awards have also been given to institutions which have made outstanding contributions to the empowerment of persons with disabilities. Their worth is exemplary and shows sensitivity to the needs of fellow human beings. This is an occasion to acknowledge the dignity and rights of persons with disabilities and to rededicate ourselves to their empowerment. Persons with disabilities often face barriers for participating in all aspects of society. These barriers can take a variety of forms, those relating to physical environment or access to information, or from societal attitudes or discrimination. The result is that persons with disabilities do not have equal access in society to services, including education, employment, health care, transportation, political participation, or at times justice. Experience shows that when these barriers 